Yep, fish on. Oh. Oh. There's a big arrow pipe that came up to the surface over there to breathe. I think he's heading to the left. I'm aiming right where the fish is headed. Now, I just hope he's hungry. My god, look at all the dead wood in this part of the lake. Branches, trunks, laid down on the bottom everywhere. Even if I hook up, it's gonna be a challenge to land the fish. A real challenge. Oh, oh, oh. Fish. Yep, he's on. He's on. Oh, yeah. Going under a tree there. It's huge. It's the fish I've been looking for. And to avoid losing it, I have to get in the water to go around the branch that the line is tangled in. All right, it's untangled. Now, I can't give this fish any room to maneuver, or it could get wrapped around a branch again. But the problem is, it's super powerful and pulls me in with it. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, look at the size of this fish. With all the splashing, I can't see a thing. And knowing what could be swimming in here, I'm dying to get back to the shallow water. I can't believe it. Look at, look at the size of that thing. That's what I've been chasing. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't believe it. Such a spectacular animal. It's literally armored plated. Look at the scales. They, they, they're like an armor that was used, used in medieval times. Sort of like a, a scale mill. Oh my gosh. It's no wonder caimans and piranhas can't even get their teeth through them. See what it just did now? It took a breath, because those fish, they're air breathers. They live in very low oxygen in water. Like here, this, uh, this, this lake has almost no oxygen, plus the water's really warm. So that's why they have this ability to come up to the surface and gulp air. 